I'd love to know what process you go through when both world building and character building. I don't really like to info dump on my readers because it bogs down the pace, but it is very important to have that background information. I think that the major three areas of world building would be history, geography, and major parties such as politics, people groups, etc. History, you want to figure out the complete history of your nation as complete as possible so that you know about any previous wars, plagues, general mayhem and destruction and misery going on and how that would affect your population, how it would affect their mentality and their culture. Geography is important because it will tell you a lot more about the setting and how that's going to affect its people. So the climate, uh, what clothes are they wearing just for practicality's sake? Do they speak different dialects? Are they homogenous or have multiple ethnicities? But most importantly, it's a narrative device. Are there certain districts or regions that get along with other ones? Or are there ones that are warring? Geography will tell you a lot. And lastly, our major parties. Uh, you need to figure out how is your world running? Who is the government? Who is the number one power? Because every society has a number one power. In the case of Lunar City, you have a very thorough, almost Republican structure. Secondly, character building. Uh, I used to be one of those types of people who love to fill out like 100 questionnaire forms for their characters and have all the details in place. And then uh, quickly figured out while that makes it very fun, it's actually not a very good way to structure your plot. The main important thing about your character is that they have something that they want. And it, as long as you build around there and then create the character from there, you'll be in a much stronger place narratively. You could have the quirkiest character on the face of the planet and if they don't want anything, they're not going to propel your story forward. So for example, on the very first draft of Beckett, he was he had that like modern samurai aura and was meant to, as the dog, be the cornerstone of the zodiacs. However, at first, he liked his birthright, he liked what made him a dog, he liked all the tradition, and overall he ended up being bland because he had absolutely no conflict. However, when we made the key change that he actually struggles with his heritage, he struggles with all the responsibility put on him, now suddenly you have a way more interesting character. So when you build characters, you first start off with what do they want and why can't they get it? Answer those two questions and everything else is kind of bonus. 